Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nordy and today we're looking into a post by Benjamin Smallbrook who has posted on Quora. Now I came across this post while browsing the St. Meghan Markle Reddit thread and the post goes to say that the Harkles are taking time apart to re-evaluate their marriage. Um, Harry is worn out, business deals have failed, the public has turned against them and he's trying to figure out what hit him. He doesn't fit in with the tacky Tinseltown world. She no longer wears her wedding ring, they don't travel together, they live apart and come together to avoid media attention to protect their brand. Okay, so that's from Benjamin Smallbrook. Let's see what the cards have to say about it. But before I begin, um, I'm trying to hit to 10k this year, subscribers. The reason I want to hit 10k is to do like a, um, once you hit 10k, you can do like charity streams. So I just thought that the community of us guys, it would be something nice to do, to be honest. So please share this video about, um, it will yeah, I, it, it's it's great for my channel as well, but it also it helps me hit that goal. <clears throat> so thank you guys. I appreciate you all taking the time to be here as well. So let's have a look and see what's going on. We'll start off with Megzi. I'm going to use, I have got new cards for Megzi, but I'm going to go and use these ones. Now, is this just gossip? Is this a puff piece? What is going on? I think from my readings that megzi has been done with Harry since 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 before spare really after the death of the queen she's just been i feel like she's been done with him but we'll see what the cards have to say um harry on the other hand is not particularly done with her he's like a limpet he's like a barnacle he's stuck onto her um and i think that's that's yeah that's how previous readings have gone so we'll just see is Megzi living apart from Harry? Is this why Doris moved in? Let's have a look. I use a Celtic cross spread and I work in layers, so bear with me. I do, the questions are at one side of the screen, I think. I put them at one side of the screen. And uh, so I'll do a spread for Megzi and then I will do a spread for Harry. So how does Megan feel about is Megan living with Harry? Are they Olive Garden mansioning together? Or what? What is going on? Let's have a look. Let's have a see. Um, three of Wands in reverse. She's definitely wanting. <clears throat> Wanting her own space. People from other overseas are not gelling with her with the three of wands in reverse. She's really had enough. I would say she's she suggesting very strongly. Yeah. What's known about it? There's the Queen of Wands. And there's the chariot moving on, trying to regain control. And even though, like, this guy who's posted this on Quora, even though I'm saying he's speaking his truth, we have the Queen of Wands above the situation. We have the chariot. And uh, this is, like, trying to control narratives and trying to control her image somewhat. The Three of Wands in reverse would s suggest that she's wanting to kind of like distance herself from things that have happened in the past so that could be even going to omid scabies or when we're talking about harry she's wanting to kind of like move from that the chariot is a trying to control the situation moving it on charging forward getting to where you want to wants to go megzi we know is a bit in my opinion is a narcissist the Queen of Wands above, Megan is a Leo, 
w ones refer to Leo and Sagittarius and Aries, all the fire signs. So Megan would be Queen of Wands. So it's all about PR. So this is this is interesting from a yeah. We have got the nine of wands there, which is boundaries. People have overstepped her boundaries. Six of pentacles in reverse. The ten of cups, unhappy home, an unhappy family life. The king of cups surrounding her. The five of swords. And the five of cups. Um, okay, so let's talk through what I can see in Megsy's cards. There is a defensive, you've overstepped boundaries, sick of this, I've had enough, this is going on too long. Ten of Cups in reverse. Now, we get the Ten of Cups in reverse a lot for the Harkles, and this is unhappy with your home life, unhappy families emotionally all over the place, emotionally scattered. We have the King of Cups surrounding Megzi. Now, this is somebody who's influencing Megzi right at this particular time. The King of Cups, usually in Royal Tower, would be William, but because of the proximity of closeness to what's on Megzi's mind, it could, it actually, it could be William. It could be. She probably thinks she's married the wrong brother. That's for sure. She probably thinks she should have been queen. That's for sure. Um, we have got the five of swords in reverse. So she's frightened about something being uncovered about her, though. In all of this noise, she is frightened of something being uncovered about her. The six of pentacles in reverse they are going to do this big charity play. Something's coming up with charity and they are going to take more than, yeah, they're going to, it's the best way to describe some of the charitable endeavours. They are kind of like saying, um, give us a hundred pounds and we will keep 95 and we'll give five to charity. It's that kind of thing. Um, the five of cups in reverse is very interesting. She's not feeling warm towards him. She wants to move on from him, really. She's like, she is getting to her fill. She has had enough, a big enough of him. And it's starting to damage how she sees herself will they separate i think 2024 is going to be an interesting year with their relationship for sure i mean i've got divorce watch 2024 playlist going already um the seven the chariot the seventh card in the tarot is interesting because this is trying to navigate and trying to steer things so i wouldn't be surprised if megzi put false rumors out about herself and she is wanting the two of pentacles. She wants to kind of re kind of gain this work life balance. But um, interestingly enough, she is only really around him because she wants something out of him. And she is all about her. She is very unhappy, very unhappy. Let's have a look at Harry. Eight of coins. <clears throat> okay. So straight away, we've got work. We've got grafting. We've got being on top of your game where it comes to skill, but it could suggest that he is trying to work on his public image, on his, um, how he's perceived, basically. Ten of wands, seven of wands, 
seven of coins. So we have got the eight of coins and the seven of coins underneath each other. We have the ten of wands and the seven of wands. So he's still feeling like he's on the defensive. He still feels like he's trying to push back on everyone and everyone is out to get him and he needs to come and defend Megzi. The ten of wands crossing over there is a burden here. He feels like he's somehow responsible for some of the stuff. Um, the seven of coins underneath, he they're trying to bide their time. His energy around the situation is different from Megsy's. Megsy's is very, I want to push forward. I want to get on. I want to get my name out there. She's very thinking of the singular and trying to like kind of pull things together to recontrol it. Where with Harry is still thinking everyone's picking on him. This is kind of standard, but never mind. Um, Leo in reverse, strength card in reverse. The five of coins. <laughs> um, okay. Megzi is focusing on her. I think we're going to get a lot of puff pieces from there. We're going to get a lot of distraction from them. However, Harry's cards are more telling than Megzi. Megzi is like straight away. Ooh. Leo is in the reverse, leaving the situation. Strength card in reverse. Leo, of course, is Megzi. Megzi is in reverse. Now, Megzi has appeared on both of these spreads. So has the Invisible Children. Um, and I just want to say before anyone goes, they're not real, they're not real. They pick up, it, if somebody, like, say you wanted a reading between you and Ganesh or something, we can still do that just because you can't see an entity or whatever. You can still pick up on thought forms, energy, the lot. So park that. Um, the Leo in reverse Lexi's really has enough of him. We have the marriage card in reverse, the four of wands, and we have my physical death card here as well, what's on Harry's mind. That's not good. That's really not good. He, <clears throat> we all know, he is obsessive about his mother and his mother's legacy and his mother's passing. I get that. I get that. The Four of Swords, when it is in reverse in the mind, is not good. Now, this could be him ruminating on his mother's passing, his grandfather and grandmother's passing. But when you're surrounding it with the Four of Wands in reverse, now the Four of Wands is a marriage, a union, foundations that you bring up, creativity, joy, happiness, bringing into a happy home. You're creating that happy home. When the Four of Wands is in reverse, well, it's in reverse. It's the opposite. So we've got the unhappy home surrounding him. I think Megzi is very unhappy with him. Um, the Ten of Cups is surround. I think Megzi is now of the opinion she married the wrong prince with the King of Cups. And Harry is feeling very, I would, yeah. I think they're falling apart. The Five of Pentacles in his relation of Megzi, he is on the outside again. He will probably blame Megxit, the British press, the royal family and the UK public, as well as all of us internet peoples for his marriage breakdown when it comes. He is feeling on the outside of their relationship. He is not feeling included and he's feeling quite sorry for himself. So I would expect we're going to get a lot of puff pieces. With regard in the relationship, I suggest we're going to get a lot of issues. What he's hoping for, why would you hope for a lawyer?
And why is Megsy thinking of nothing to be discovered? And the page of coins is in reverse. Access to the children will be getting less and less as the year uh, goes on. Do I think he's out of the marital home? According to the cards, Megsy's in leaving in the background. But mm, not a happy marriage. Harry is thinking he can just like kick it that into the long grass and like, oh no, it'll fix it, it'll be all right, the money will come in and all that. But it's not just about the Benjamins, it's also about Megsy's ego being trashed and she's not taking kindly to that. So yeah, the King of Swords, he's want he's not wanting to lawyer up. It is in reverse. So basically, Megsy is going to call time on the relationship very soon. We shall see. It's just very interesting. When I when I was pulling, looking at Megsy's cards, I was thinking, is this just puff piece? Is this just PR? Is this just um, gossip for gossip's sake? But looking at Harry's. Hmm. I do think we're going to get some more rumblings in 2024, that's for sure. I do feel like um, we are going to get puff pieces and then, like, yeah, it's all for show. But the, the problem is Harry is not in love with her. Harry is attached to her and he thinks he's in love with her. That's the difference. He's like a barnacle on her. Have you seen that fisherman? He goes around and he does the, uh, he pulls like um, the lobsters out and he'll give them a, um, a uh, lobster spa day. And basically what it is, is he just gets some clippers and removes the barnacles off the lobsters so the lobsters can, it's, it's a whole thing. Anyway, <clears throat> I really feel like that's what Megsy is a lobster. And Harry is that barnacle. And she's at the bottom and there's no fisherman coming to clip him off. So she's going to have to do it herself. I don't think this woman is good at confrontation at all. Um, she likes to think she is, but she's not. She's really not good at confrontation. Um, I feel like with what I've been getting through the cards and what I'm getting through the readings is she's somebody who is very like passive aggressive. She'd rather send a letter and not face somebody face to face because she's got that much cognitive dissonance when it comes to a narcissism. She can't hear, she can't bear to hear anything. Anybody, anybody tell her the truth of the matter. Um, yeah, so Harry is going to be on the outside really soon <clears throat> I don't I think they will try and look like they are a loving couple for a while and that will play into Harry's ego and Harry's delusion of it all but Megsy is just yeah she's done with him she's been done with him for ages she just wants rid but she's kind of stuck with him. And Harry in all of this doesn't think of his family. He makes he thinks of William. Oh, he married the wrong one. Hmm. There we go. Let me know what you guys think. I'm doing a live tonight, 8.30, be there, I'll be square and all that stuff. If you've made it this far, leave me a flamingo, a fairy or whatever you fancy in the comments. Sparkles, a wizard, a witch, whatever. 
Um, thank you so much for all your support. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and um, yeah, take care of yourselves and I'll see you, see you later if you're about. Bye everyone. <laughs>